Well, many of you have been boarding planes for the first time in more than a year, and it's showing. Boy, the airports are yeah. getting crowded. Not only have there been reports of long lines and some unruly passengers, the sudden surge in travel is overwhelming major airlines at an alarming pace. Both severe weather and staffing shortages have caused hundreds of cancellations just over the past few days. American Airlines, for instance, delayed more than 1,000 flights on Monday, nearly 500 on Tuesday. Janelle Forte now has more details. From check-in to checkpoint and on board, air travel on a fast track to pre-pandemic levels. Airlines are struggling to keep up. So they're still like going by the guidelines of like, we're just trying to crawl into it. But the thing that's happening is people are running into it. Delta Airlines responding to that sprint, announcing a massive hiring push. The company saying, quote, as we shift gears towards recovery, we know we need reinforcements to help us serve our customers this summer. We're excited to add more talented professionals to the Delta family. The move following a turbulent weekend for American Airlines customers. The carrier canceling hundreds of flights due to staffing shortages, ranging from ground services to the cockpit. A year ago, we were flying and we were canceling flights because we didn't have enough passengers. It's hard to believe that a year later we're canceling flights because we don't have enough pilots. The airline says it plans to cancel about 80 more flights per day through mid-July as a result. What's the holdup of getting these pilots, especially the ones who are furloughed, back in the cockpit? What's the, uh, the holdup? They can't fit them into the training schedule. And when they do, it takes another pilot out of that training schedule. The ripple effects frustrating already anxious travelers. Hopefully not uh, cancel my flight next week. Well, the TSA is attempting now to hire 6,000 new officers to handle the summer travel boost. And to sweeten the deal, the agency is offering recruitment incentives, things like $1,000 to officers who sign up for unemployment or for employment.